Sir. Wake up. Sir. Yeah. Fracture in your home. Hey, yo, just the other day, I was bowling on the court. Picked up a war and I was fresh out of court Had it clean and made it back to New York When my mama talking bullshit handed me the touch Ah, uh, for sure Cloud Lounge with Ren Podcast And we back at it again Today we got a special, special guest Come back What up? Yes, sir Holyoke We're here I had to let my brother speak You know what I mean? This for is sure. a legend right here Come back What it is, bro? A god right here. Long time, long time. Single digits, right? Single digits. That's where our brotherhood go that far, single digits. Living in one room with five people. Blessings. Recording. Speaking of five people, we got everybody in the building. Shout out to Slip. We got, who we got right here? Louie. Hey. I've been beats. George over the streets. (laughs) Who else we got? Physics straight out of Holyoke. Yes, sir. You already know. Powerful room right now. Indeed. You know. Holyoke, Holyoke, Springfield, Chickabee, right? The whole four and third, New England. I think the only circuit. The only circuit, yeah. Legendary. Everybody that was rapping was just like, we had the whole circuit, I feel like, during a time. In our generation, we had it locked. So, matter of fact, let's start from the beginning. You know what I mean? Let's know about your DNA. Where were you born and where you from, bro? So, born in Brooklyn, Bay Ridge, shout out. Uh, came to Mass after parents split. Uh, came all the way to Holyoke. Uh, what age? Not your real age. Uh, like five, four, five, eight, six. Uh, came straight from Brooklyn and uh, we moved to a shelter. It was me and my mom. Uh, you know, came up with dad and, you know, uh, she dated a guy where took us out of that shelter, you know. The guy. Became the guy. The guy, that's all I can say right now because, uh. Big guy. Uh, became my kid sister's father. So that sure. guy's still part of this life. You know, fast forward a little. Just grew up out here and was established more out here. Went to Peck Middle School, you know. Uh, then went to Holyoke High. Wait, what, you, what was what elementary? You didn't go to elementary? Oh, school? Sullivan. Yes. Sullivan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sullivan. Where's Sullivan? I still don't know where that's at. Jarvis. Jarvis. I went to school. Around Jarvis. Jarvis. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah, I it. I was in school of the projects, huh? huh? Jarvis. He went to school of the projects. Yeah? Jarvis. Sullivan's the projects? Sullivan's that shit like near Cherry Hill. Hill. Sullivan, Sullivan is Jarvis. in the projects. Oh. Uh, ACC. ACC? Yeah, up there, Bolden. Um, and school was in the projects. And uh, that's where I met most of the people that I still have in my life. You grew into, yeah, yeah. Um, so... Did the school and basically how all this rap shit started was before coming to Holyoke or like since the jump, like were you influenced by like your family members or it was in Holyoke, like in elementary, middle school? Oh, this was in high school. Music kicked in for you in high school? Yeah. Rapping. To rap, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I only started rapping because... When I lived in the flats, shout out to Flatbush. Um, yes, sir. Little thumbs. We mm-hmm. had a boy, Eloy, uh, which Eloyd. still in my life. We did videos, you know. And, First thing over the computer. Uh, still sound amazing. Yeah, probably, he, had, he had probably the only computer, computer in, the in the flats. Uh, a nice screen. Yeah, double screen. Slip. First time I've seen double screens. Uh, so... He started, he bought a studio, but I, I was chilling with him every day. And we would uh, record outside, playing ball every day. And just one day, you know, he had his cousin, Carl, Carlos, I feel like, uh, the Colombians. So yeah, yeah, yeah. then, uh, yeah, they started. Then one day we were in, 
at the bus stop, and he, someone he used said to, uh, he's a rapper. Uh, can you remember his he, he, Yeah, but like someone said, he they did a song, and uh, I was like, how? Like I chill with him every day. Like, are you famous? I kind of got so mad, offended. And yeah. So I went with another kid. We chilled in that crew, and that same day. He had to carry a whole key machine. So then uh, I went in there and I'm like, yo, we're going to do a track then. And then uh, I actually dissed them and shit. Oh my God, yeah. bro. <laughs> no, I dissed them. No, nah, Eloid. Because <laughs> you didn't know Eloid had a studio? No, but I chill with him every day. He should have so told me. So he recorded me. in different time frames hey, yo, that you have. That's funny. We're recording. I didn't shoot at you. Like, bro, what? Well, you're into sports, right? Yeah, I was definitely a... You played football and... Played football, basketball all my life. Um, for Holy High. For High. Was it only in high school? What uh, about... No, no, no. Uh, like summer? Basketball, it was... Suburban. Remember, uh, suburban. AU. Jim AU? Jackson. Uh, look, look you up in the yearbooks. That's it, nah, right? I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, uh, yeah. You play... Uh, 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 Lonnie. Lonnie. I didn't uh, play... I started football ninth grade. True. And uh, if we could talk about football, uh, I was a fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 this was the confidence of rap at that time because I didn't rap yet. Throw the ball that But way. like, yo, I and I had good players those years with me. But wasn't they filming those? Games? No motherfucker could say they could stick me. Wasn't they filming those games? They were filming them. Yeah. Well, who got no, I feel like they always no, they're on them. YouTube. No, they're on no, YouTube. Uh, no one. Could, yo, I had like the best route running. And like, I was the hugest Randy Moss fan at that time. What was your position? Wide receiver at that Wide point. Receiver. And then uh, so I was that the. who influenced like your, your football game? Like, oh, absolutely. Uh, so, absolutely. Yeah. Like the he Jerry was shit. Rice. He was shit. Randy Moss. Moss was shit. It was Moss. He came from Marshall and I just loved it. I don't know. And uh, I was just. Uh, I was like quick, but my route running was so crazy. Mm -hmm. Like I was just different. I had a, a two or three step where I shake them once with the one step or like with the two step, but you had to be very fast for a three step. And no one could cover me. So He's like serious. everybody He's that, exact. and it was funny because like I had the biggest shit talking team. Holyoke is just no, have so dirty with teams. sports. You had the most winningest yeah. team. Like, Holyoke made made you better. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. not only right. in ball, football, bro, it was so we were the bullies, bro, before like before it started getting yeah, serious. Like three championships, like, in no, but it was just But that's how verbal bullies. Like not like we were like Coming from Holyoke, that's oh, yeah. how it is though. So, but he yeah. took each other yeah, compared to the Long Meadows, the Springfields, yeah. you know, the yeah. South Hadley. Like, those are big like those are big schools. You're, you're yeah. so coming from little like, Holyoke. Like, like semi -pro. Like, we a lot we of gotta we to gotta colleges. talk our shit. We gotta stand on our shit on and the Springfield field, was good. We do. Springfield was Springfield. also a, Yo, bro, they're, they're good too, yeah. Those side tech but uh it was just side tech, pun it yeah. was just uh those games on Friday was wild. It was harsh, we were harsh. Like, you know, if like Want to call Somebody that. cut you up during practice, like yo, Ray fault you are. Like and people would get mad, but you couldn't do shit. You just yo get better. Yeah, get better daily. So like, even the females used to be talking so, shit to everybody. So yeah, that their game. those that that step went those <laughs> steps went a long way because uh Cecina, he moved to Florida. That's one of our close friends too. Shout out the to sick. Uh Good, great football player. And oh, yeah. um, when he moved to Florida, he started coaching. And he told me, he's like, yo, I teach these kids those steps. And I'm like, yo, that's cool. Wow. Man. That is cool to hear. Yeah. But um, sports player and then started rapping. Yeah. And uh, I linked up with... So your first track ever was legit. Feeling offended of your not your, your friend not letting you know he had a studio and some kid mentioning them doing a song. Absolutely. So you dissed the fuck out of them. Yeah. 
And then it went back. <laughs> he went back and said, yo, check this out. That was his boy, though. Yeah. That was his boy, yeah. That was our boy. I think I actually yeah, went I know you, to yeah. his house. I think he recorded it in his house. No, no, no. Oh, uh, foul. No, no. I think I went back. That's... <laughs> I went yeah. back to his house. This track off rip. And no, I think I sat there and watched them hear it. <laughs> it was really? so funny, yo. It was like... So stupid. Yo, yo, check what I say about funny. you. Yo, yo and then like we're in his house. He has to play a diss track. Then I recorded a song right after that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that started. And then I just kind of kept writing a little bit. Um and it turned foot. Then I met uh so Cena, one of my best friends. And he put me on Six to minutes. this kid, Justin Chavez. Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Rest in peace. Long live, JC. And, uh, Long live. That became my brother. Like, an everyday thing. So, he was kind of rapping at that time. And then we started just writing at my house. And I had a karaoke. My sister had a karaoke machine. And I would take it. Take that shit. And she was so pissed. And uh, I would like have the uh, CD on top and then the tapes so in the bottom. So I had the tape. And you know with a tape, you had to... Uh, uh, two tape deck? Yeah. That or was, was it a CD changer yeah, and a tape? It had to be a two tape. The pause and play to record. Yeah, but remember, you could only record on tapes that had like the shell on top. No, you well, you had, you had to put paper. You could put a piece of paper. Okay, yes. So it's we pop on. So play. yo, I had the, the shit. had the karaoke machine. That's funny. Over Enrique Iglesias. Uh, <laughs> it was on top of like my radio at the time, and uh, the mic would be on top, and then I had a dryer sheet for a pop filter. Pop stopper. Well, dryer. So sheet. we had to hold it, holding it, and then he taped the. It started be paper. Yeah, and it was becoming me and Joss. We would do tracks. We that's couldn't. Before, that's before y'all did any type of this, recording or anything. This is on a karaoke machine. You know how perfect you had to be. Mm -hmm. We had to do. I had to do two hooks. One take. One. If you fuck up on this last, yeah, break, we record the whole song. We're, not we're done. Yeah. So yeah. it became. We started. We started rapping with more. So sick. Sick was actually Cena. Was actually a ill battle artist. At yeah, football games. I heard of him. So he was already real popular. Him battling Friday him nights. And, and Duvall. Him and Duvall. Yola. Yeah. Yola. So Z1040. they were like the battle rappers and shit. This and that. So then Yola was a problem. Just already, wasn't. Nah, he nah, was nah, a. Nah, it was nah, a writer. Nah, nah, but there was Yola. These niggas was like already, they were or, like in time. Established. That's like the street life time. Right? They were just they were rapping before the them. Well, we was trying to do yeah. something. These niggas was popping. Oh, I used to chill with Yola. I, he actually got my my a little bit better. I'm like, this sucks in the water. Yeah, yeah. No, there was, and I would put him in that because when I was, they were just like, and Mookie. Yeah, Mookie was popping. Yeah, Mookie, yeah. Mookie I was a problem. Mookie was a problem. And, and Mookie actually, so Me and Mookie got a few tracks. I still we started getting hyped, you know. And then uh, I was like, "Yo, let's." I wanted to start getting this group, so we start. I got I got Cena. Or we it was already me and Joss. Boop. Actually, I'm sorry. Before all that, me and Just we became. On senior year, uh, we were already kind of starting to rap. Senior year, one of our good friends died, Ricky Babiak. Fucking rest oh, in yeah. peace. And it was just at a time where we were about to put our first CD on. Yeah, a lot of people. And that. we already, I was fucking popular. Just was popular. You know, sports players too. And. Yeah, they get that shine. Bro, that CD was already. Fucking sold out before we even put it out. But I said, yo, let's do a song for Ricky. Mm. So when we did that, yo, that CD we just flew fucking right out our backpacks. Oh, yeah, that she got a That's awesome. Them Bro. days of just selling physical copies. It was like, copies, oh, man. everybody, everybody wanted to hear right? that Ricky song. 
and a oh, dedication Ricky, and on top of that. Ricky, it was called Ricky's song. Yeah, Everybody official. wanted to hear that. That's official. That made the whole CD yeah, sell. Bad, bad BX or Bad BX is really like And to be honest, that CD, I'm pretty sure you a got lot a copy of people, still? I don't. Not in your, your mom's house or anything? Like stash or anything? Maybe. I know or in somebody just who house? had, I think Medina. Medina? He might have. True word. Um, there's certain people who have all uh, all those old ones. Yeah, the old collection, yeah. Um, but then we were uh, lyrical menaces at that time, and then we branched. I wanted to get a group of like the fucking best rappers and shit. Yeah. Cause I heard there was a street life group, and I'm like, who the fuck are these street guys? Street life ENT, and, yes sir. Which became my brother Marlon. Oh yeah. We man. got Louis Lowe. Yeah, I used to be Ave. That's your crazy. Ave oh, Avenue at that time, and yeah, yeah. at that point, Street Life had. I, I thought you had to be famous to be to do music. I th- you guys had like fucking fourteen guys on a track. I was like, damn, and yeah. I was like, yo, it made me. I don't know, yo, music this shit. Every time I hear something that but it's I like, I just though. get, oh shit, I want to do better than that. Something would put me into like, oh no, nah, I want to do better than that because I know people are liking that. I I could do way better than that. I'm not saying anything. I'm saying, but that was competition. the competition. Yeah, competition. Um. So then I'm like, all right, well, I'm fucking pretty close with like the pretty popular kids uh, uh, rappers <laughs> right now too. So I got sick, Mookie. Um, at that point. And we became the commission. The commission. commission. True word. So that was inspired based off of Street Life ENT. <laughs> them uh, form, they were like the same age range as y'all. Well, no, we were. Right? Some of them were younger. We were just always in a group. Well, you like, guys were on a group. All these. Rappers. So it was like a rap collective. Let's let's be a group for this, let's just be a group. this season. Let's come um, up with something. And now, because we liked the fact that there was a groups, even groups before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, street, de- street, street demons. Street demons. Like Joe. There was uh, four one three's finest. Um, Malasa Productions. Uh, Malasa. Malasa uh, Productions. Right. Well, Ed- Mamin Ed- Georgie. Well, Edsky yeah. and even him. Edsky, that's Ezra. Uh, Ezra was Ezra be recording here too. Yeah, Shout out to Ezra. Yo, listen, he's popping right now. His beats is popping right now. That boy's on a mission. Yeah. Shout out Ezky, man. Shout out. Yep. Oh, he's still going. He's on the latest oh, tape. He's on some other shit right now. Just, Zen Rem Gems. He's on that tape. Go catch him. Awesome. He'll be on the RZX project. Go catch all my yeah. people. No, I think that when it was me and Just, you know, we already had that first mixtape album popping. Everybody already knew, like. We were the rappers. Was Just featured on the first Street Life tape though, or no? No. Or the second? I don't think so. Maybe the Remember, second. I came, I came later. Oh, he I did. Came later. You weren't. You weren't. You're in the first one. He did. Maybe no, on the three. I, I came late, and then they took like nine tracks off and put me and um, uh, Mike Bully on. Yeah, yeah, true. That yeah. shit was already finished. I just came in late. Oh. I never and you came and you, until I fucked with and you came and you added Bomb Squad, right? Yep. Oh Bomb yeah. So. So along you got, with the Street Life. Yep. Then I heard about them, but me and Just were already a group. We just, wa- I just wanted it to. W- I seen that it was a lot of, of groups with motherfuckers yeah, like it ten deep. Like the community, like that. So, like rap was rap. so you can't. We couldn't. I was like, nigga, we can't be fucking just two rappers right now. We got two like, rappers right now. So I, <laughs> just two rappers. No, no, I know. No, like no, we're no, pretty no, popular no, and yeah. shit, but like I'm like, yeah. This ain't it right now. I'm That's like, nah, like I want to flex on my crew. It's like right wrestling, you but know, then start again, more members and shit. That was the era. Degeneration X. Degeneration NWO. And then we became Degeneration X later. Uh, I'm saying, yeah. um, <laughs> it, it became like I had a. I was like, fuck, it's like, oh, I was a, a DJ at that point. Like, also, like, I would sell mixtapes. I heard I'm you were selling mixtapes, yeah. Bro, I was like popular for that. And. Like playlists on the CDs I and shit. I made like, like real rare songs you didn't even hear shit. And it was fucking dope. From where, LimeWire? I had it on. Like, you got a LimeWire? Like bear shit. Yeah, but bear I, I really can't bear talk. Bear shit? Damn, I can't bro. talk. I can't. You couldn't afford Napster. I can't talk Napster, about. I know. What it took there. And I can't <laughs> I name drop with those. I can't, name, <laughs> I can't name drop with that. 
We got the music. So All you know, we got it though. I woke up to a CD, so it was finished. <laughs> it, took, it took a couple hours. You know how you went to bed and shit. Hey, it was burn. You let it burn and finish. Yeah, oh, paid a it's it's about thirty. Put in a way message on AOL. Thirty seconds. Going to bed after the tension. AOL burning, well, bro. burning CD. Signed off for tomorrow. AOL and shit. He had so an AOL. Somebody that plugs the fucking Instant thing. Instant message. For the DSL and shit. Yo, yeah. what the fuck? No, no, but the way messages and shit. Yeah, you had an AOL for the longest, right? Everybody the email. Else? Yo, somebody picks up That's the phone. That's hilarious. Yo, I'm out playing ball. Messages. I'm out playing ball. Shit. You stupid. Fucking bro. call me. But don't call me around this time because my mom's on the phone for that. On an email? Yeah. Voice note? No, no, no. Like, oh, the oh, way voice message. Oh. Even away messages. Away right. messages. Oh, yeah, you're right. That? You're right. I, I rarely did that. But you weren't signed up. That's right. You know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. That's right. That was your way to like... Yeah. That's old I can't school. talk right now. Yeah, we really from the 90s. Because you, you got to call my house. Right. It's pretty yeah. If you pick up the phone, and like, my mom's, she's not gonna die my on. mom's probably on it. True. So, <laughs> so now this is high school year. Would you say, like, uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior year? This is going on. This rap, you know, transition of being more of like rap act as far as like a, a rap collective taking this shit serious aside from the okay. sports, aside from school. Where it got serious more. When is this? Like junior year or like or For, like early in high school? So I want to say like we started rapping like junior year. And so so well, your last year, you're just like the last showing the out. senior year. We already like have our reputation there, and you know we're good sports players. So th- what school? That was Holy High. Holy High. I went to Holy High too. Yeah. Hold on, was you in the band too? I was not in the band. I used to play the drums. <laughs> Never played drums. Never, huh? Smoke, boogie. It is Buki. Yeah, yeah, a very good drum player. Fire. Yeah, Buki. Shout that out to guy. Just to him. Shout, shout out to Leonard, Leonard Van. Van. Where'd you, Leonard Van. Where'd you talk to him? Shout out to Leonard Van. Van. Yo. Yo. Shout out to Kamari and his brother Kamari too. Oh, shout out to beats. Kamari. Tell any of the girls I Go check his production out for sure. I'm gonna get him. Uh, definitely. Um, so, senior year, I would say like everything started popping off. And so then, what was your name also? I went through a lot of names in that. Uh, so like when you we went first different names? for where we start first, uh, when probably we, me and Just were like the first group lyrical menaces, which then we became Slaughterhouse before Slaughterhouse. Really? I don't know where that fucking what came from, but interesting. There was that time of rap where you were like, yeah. you had a show. Well, it was just dark rap. It was just you're, different. You're doing like dark no, no, horror I rap. Everything. Yeah, like we everything. Just sit in class, stop doing work, just thinking about the yeah. names. And uh. So yeah, straight up. my name, I think it was like Infamous Comeback. Infamous In Comeback, beginning. okay, yeah. Black Jack. I don't know where that came from. Black Jack. Oh, I was a big card you. guy. I like that shit. Yeah, it suits you. I ain't gonna lie. And then... Uh, he looks like he lives on the edge, Black Jack. Black Jack. And then I remember We call like, it Skullboy, so... There was a big time where it was like... like the, the, I don't know why I thought about the one, two, three kid. The rap... X-Pac? Uh, the, yeah. X-Pac? One day I was like sleeping, and then I'm like, yeah, I want to be comeback kid, like comeback. So I'm like, that's, okay, that's where that came from. And then I found out there was a band called Comeback Kid. There's a boogie. Comeback, comeback kid. kid. Yeah, it spelled way different. And then uh, I I started taking out the kid. Um, so then senior year started doing that. We then brought in commission. And I ended up getting a studio built in my room, if you remember that. That was the most classic yeah. thing that could have happened to yep. the city at Where that at? point. Yep. Where at? In his room? In my house, in my room. It was built inside. He had a booth the, built it in. It was the best. I think it was, that made everything. Right, up top? That was... Near uh, Holy High, when I moved yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, at, around the board. After Flat. That hill? Around there. Around. So, got that built, and I had an iMac that mm-hmm. was stolen from, nah, from Holy High. I had one of those, too. I couldn't get, I couldn't get yeah, in for a while. Summer programs and shit. Yes, I got one of those. Um, so, then I couldn't get in for a while. I figured out how to hack into it. I got GarageBand. 
or even before that, I had a, maybe a different computer before the Mac, and I was a cool edit. Yeah, I was cool a edit fucking pro. king. Oh, cool cool edit, pro. That was the first one. That's where I started. That's where I cupped. Oh, and then, actually? And that, we used that I, st- we- I used it later. And that's how I was that good for that. Um, yo, I started engineering. No one could stop me at that point. We had no other choice to engineer, beats. right? Like I was sampling rock songs, but like I liked that drop, so I would cut that. It's not even a yeah. sample. No, no you just not you're looping. Sample. You're, you're, you're looping the songs. I was you were on the chair a lot. You were on the chair. I uh, bro, on the computer all day. Now that I think about it, I just uh, you know I put different effects. So it was only us. I started going hardcore with bro, that shit. I got the Mac, and then I want to say that I was actually best friends with this man. At a young age, yeah, and we went to the early camp, years, the YMCA. YMCA, camp. yep. And then single digits. I actually lost contact with him for maybe what, like six, seven years. Yeah, good, almost. So then, when I found out about that street life, yo, who's in that shit? Yeah. What year? I heard that? his voice on a CD on a song, and then I'm like, yo, I kind of like this guy. Yo. He's good. Yeah, he's different. Every time I'm like, this guy's. Just- I don't know, I like this guy's voice and shit. So then I was like, I'm gonna be better than that shit. And then uh, <laughs> I found out it was him. The voice. And I was me. best friends with him when we were kids. When we were yeah. kids. So, yeah. so I found out, suck. I go, it's Will? Well, so yeah. I go, oh. And shout out to E Rod too. E Rod was So with I messaged us. him on um, MySpace. MySpace, bro. Dot com, well, slash forward, come back forward three. Time. With the music in the background? Yeah, and uh, I said, Tom. Yo. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> so I found out it was him, and then I'm like, yo. Well, yo, Street Life, well, Street Life is a branch off of RZX in the early days. Okay, it was probably so, RZX that I'm talking about. Because Marlon, Marlon was RZX, right. the label. RZX was Street, yeah. Street Life was a, like a... Is a branch. Our, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was well, I didn't rec- know that at that He point. recorded everybody else that was in Holyoke, because I lived in Holyoke for a time period, and then I left. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he recorded the people with the different edge and different element for RZX, yeah. as we're establishing. And then, of course, I was on those songs, so you heard about, you know what I mean, from there. Yeah. Put the so, face together. You hit me up. I, I like, hit dog. Him up because, like, yo... I know it was like a couple of years ago when we were best friends. Like, I'm like Kenny. I'm like, yeah. This is Kenny. Like, this is the, uh, you know? Not even comeback. I didn't even know you went by. Yeah, nah, comeback. not even. And uh, I was like, yo, we should do a track. You come to my studio. Fucking studio. And you had to see this, bro. It was fucking nuts. It was like window in it. It was a real booth. I had the Biggie poster. Oh, the wood, the, uh, the plywood shit? It was, yeah. Where was that shit at? Linden. And Biggie with the cigar. I think uh, I But um I he came that one day and we did the record. And um bro, I think ever since that day, just like Yeah, we locked in again. Locked in and then we had he had a show going. And yeah. uh, I went to that. I had a couple shows going around that time. Yeah. I was in motion. Yeah, sure. Brought him along. Yeah, like active. I was like actually yeah. as the artist performing. Yeah, he would bring me along. And I brought the team. He met the team. RZX, you know. We started I mean? chilling. Piranha Gang, everybody. So Piranha then. Piranha Gang, I remember that. Yeah. So then, at this point, we just joined two towns. Yeah. Because at that point, I was buzzing with every. I, yeah, good buzz. Now you're affiliated with everyone, so like everyone just everyone pretty much joined. Was. So then we just put two towns together right there, yeah. literally, because it literally still plays out to now. But um, then he would take me out to these shows and chill at uh, this Jesse's parties, house parties. Then I started dating this girl from Chicopee. And then Danielle and this girl had through the best parties. All girls always overpowered us. So I started bringing 
Everybody. Hollering at the team. Yeah, we had something to do in the weekends. Yo, we going to these... Bro, party, party. serious. And I brought everyone. I brought that. I brought all Holyoke to yeah. the chicken me. You brought the hood up, man. Yo, know, it was... Oh, everybody loved it. And... Uh, we used to get right... We were Cypher. This dude, um, we met John Effect there. Yeah, the Cyphers. yeah. John Effect. Shout out to John Effect. Listen, Big Drip. Big Drip. Four shout five. out. Yo, this Salute. is... We were at a party. And we... Him and his old partner at the yeah, time. Yo, I'm going to describe him. Wow, I saw him. He had a... Crappy collar. He had a little Jew... A Jew fro. I love you. But... And he was good. Yeah. But he rapped with this other one kid, remember? Yeah, another kid. And these guys were like lyricists. Yeah, and I'm they're like, a duo. I was like, wow. These guys are pretty good and shit. Yeah. And uh, then they, you know, he became a lot bigger and he ended up being in this one group later. But uh, so after Linden with the booth, I started doing a lot of shows, a lot of open mics. And literally took over almost every open mic. With so you us. had a you had a commission CD in the process of all that too, though, right? Like yes, my fault. Yeah, just released once we linked so up. So commission just when something. the group came, we did the commission CD, and that was a great CD, and it was just creative, uh, and you had the best, what was some of that? the best rappers. It was me. Uh, Just, Mookie, yeah. Cena, Coco. Cause he was. All oh, oh, Coco from uh, um, Jarvis. He was. No, Coco from mm, Back Street. Brother. Oh, I know Coco. Um, yeah, yeah, Coco, Coco, Coco. Oh, yeah. So, he was the engineer to all of it. He had a booth. So. I thought you were talking no, about. No, no, we had mine and then we had his, but he just knew more and shit. And uh, mm -hmm. so. That CD and at that point, bro, like we were just, it was just a hard group. Like, yo, that's, the commission fit so perfect, you know? Cause if you know what the real commission is, it's, it was just bosses. Their bosses, yeah. And um, things just started, people started not having time to do shit. Uh, not everybody wanted to- Pursue it. Pursue it. The way you were It was passionate. always me and Joss. And then there was a point me and Joss kind of went our step own way to try step to step back from each other. Do our own shit. Yeah. And then that's when everything went crazy because that's where I went to. I got my first big opener, uh, Red Cafe. And that was at Max Cap. So after that, Bro, it just started. I was opening up for everybody that came to Springfield. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. We we opened up for everybody that came. Everyone who came. And down. we we even every month. I every even other had month. I even had openers in Northampton. You know, <laughs> like on top of the open mics. Yeah. That was a run. So man. I started like going Can nuts. We go, we go? I started going nuts. I mean, I had maybe. Yeah, we I was. Passed, that was later in time. Yeah. Where you go, be go. Yeah. No, I'm but my, that. at that point, I'm starting to get my head big and like I'm like, damn, I opened up for Red Cafe. That's which was one of my favorite artists at that point. Place, I'm a big Fab fan, so like yep. same area and uh, Street yeah, Street and uh, then. We were just rocking shows, and uh, then I started another group, and this is where fucking this was just where the rock stars came fucking to play, bro. Mm -hmm. Rock and, star uh, status, lifestyle. It was just habits. It was a, a just a time of vlogs of. We started vlogging uh, more. Uh, yeah, Circus Wicked came out. Circus Wicked, yes. Clearly. The logo. Came out. They had the smiley face with the like a skull ish. With the, with the, with the hat, the party, party hat. hat. That. Did they have X on the eyes? Yeah. 
And Ones, yeah. this is when I'm opening up for the next opener, I think, Jim Jones. Yeah. Yep. Um, he was cooked that day, too, man. He was, like, cooked. sitting down. He was, like, was it, yo, eyes rolling back. It was actually $30 to get in. And we really were the people who performed. He performed for 10 minutes. Yeah. That was right before his album dropped, Next Day in Vegas. Yeah. Um. So we're doing video. We're doing like we're always chilling. We're doing videos, like just doing crazy, stupid shit, just wild boy shit. And it started becoming like a trend, like a vibe, a, a picture. Like, oh, Odd Future was a probably a good example because they were out at the time. It was just I know grungy you like them when shit, out, yeah. grungy shit. So then I, we performed in Northampton one day. We were wild, bro. I didn't give a fuck, man. And I, I, I wore a fucking hockey mask for a song called Hockey Mask. Tuh. And it was just fucking crazy. It was near Halloween. And, and we even have a little video where everybody, after we got off stage. Look this way. Every, after everybody got off stage, I, we got off stage, people were like, Yo, can we sign your fucking mask and shit? Oh, Literally yeah. Literally on the video. Fire. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. And everybody started signing our mask. And uh, there's a lot of Golden Knights, especially doing that. Man, we're on some stuff, man. We're some young adults or grown kids, however you want to call it. But we're like stay stomping weekly, bro. We were getting right. The fans started loving us because they'll see us every week. And it's weird, it's like, because you're living like a facade to a degree, especially when you learn, because you learn everything smoke and mirrors. That's my take, as Absolutely. far as the music world, because you're going off, getting like filled up in the head, at ego based perspective. I run this shit, I'm, this, I'm doing this shit, I'm doing this shit. You see like less crowds, you see yeah. the lifestyle is tough, but a lot of people will quit doing this music because they hit the road, they may have 15 people, they may have 40, they may have 200, they may have. Three, it is it is it, different, you know what I mean, all the time and shit. But you go through that process, you toughen up, you get tough skin. You learn. It's a you learn, yeah. yeah. It's you the get, time of your life at the same time. It's the time of your life. You, you get to experience the, you know what I mean, the fun overall. Stage time, you know, deal with the fans, interact with the people. Absolutely. See who, who start hating you because you got merchandise coming out or you got like CDs rolling out. Yeah. And that's what we were doing. Your trendsetters. We had apparel. At that time, we started releasing stuff more online too. Aside from the, the the physicals, we're releasing shit online. Started doing the vlogs a lot more. A lot more, like people saw us. Yeah, you know, and it wasn't just the music. It was like just like videos of party and then, or like like the way of life. It's going out to eat just some going pizza to the and drink. mall and hanging out. Yeah, I hanging out. Or you had somebody with a camera following you all the time. We did. It, well, at the mall, we did for that night. You know, I'm la I'm later in the timeline, but like every time I've been around you guys, it's always felt like just us hanging out. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, like goddamn right. And it gets we're gonna, we're gonna spit it's some shit. We're gonna come up with some with some tight shit musically, yeah. but it, we never felt yeah. obligated to do it. Yeah, it was never forced. We it was just, just natural it for just everybody. Happened, you know, and that's what I say is like there's the there's a there's an innocence in those moments where we, you know what I mean. You don't really take it that serious. We're just having fun. We don't realize how how ahead of the time it really was. It really is, yeah, for you sure. Know how epic those moments are until we look back. Like now, it's like, man, this shit was great. I, I met you around that time, or from the time he's speaking on. Yeah, actually, too. So how we're like, in motion with that? That's well, like I said, we put two cities together. Like you yeah, hold up, it was Sprint for, for, a beautiful for thing. Yeah. You know, even so, during that time, just in Hartford, because I rep Hartford too, still. You know, eight sixty. I went to Hartford a couple of times. Oh yeah, she was loud. Then, my cousin hectic and tragic. You know, I mean? feel like a couple she shows in. <laughs> uh, it was I think it was a French Montana uh, opener. I call my cousin. CT. I call my cousin. Joe. We did Chinks drugs too. I did Chinks drugs twice. Yep. We actually had more bottles than him one night. Actually, no, we did uh, French Montana, and then we did Coke Boys. No, but I did I did Chinks before, too. I tell you, I know these things. In the same like, uh, same venue, you remember that? So, 
We even we did, did have, Beanie Siegel. We did have robots. Beanie Siegel, yep, yep, I remember. Remember he stepped on your shoes? Nah, he gave me that. Because I was like, but he salute. But like mad sloppy and shit. No, it wasn't sloppy. It just, it just felt, it felt weird. Like I just turned around, like, "Yo, salute!" I turn around, and when I look back, he had his hand out already in front of me. Yeah, he's like, "Yo, I was like, oh bullied. shit!" Oh, she bullied. <laughs> like, oh, you know, shit. yo, another cool ass story about one, my opener, Styles P actually gave me the mic. Gave you the mic and gave us all daps. Yeah, yeah Styles P he gave me the mic. He was on stage. Styles P, Styles P's elite. Right before yeah. I opened up for him. Yeah. So, um, it was so dope. So then, I didn't even know that. Uh, we started selling shirts. It was just a trend, and uh, that's where the branding started. Branding was fucking heavy for Circus Wicked, and then the attempt because it didn't last. Yeah. As, it didn't last as long. Yeah, but we got to dabble in it. You know what I mean? We just got to, it to, to a, taste it. Like you know why? Because you yeah, were yeah. doing something that you didn't know how to do it yet yeah. before everybody yeah. started doing it. It was kind of trying yeah. to manage. I mean, rock lot. and roll people were doing it, like oh, no, selling merch. About, no, in, in our city, though. But like around <laughs> here, like, yeah, was, actual. Was young niggas that don't know how to yeah. do shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, and then it was hard to manage, like, trying to get everybody, you know what I mean? So, like, I, I just also started branching, still holding Circus Wigger down all day. Yep. Um, shout out to fucking City. Yep. You know, the members. City Sun. Uh, he was here just, the other day. Rem, yeah, Joe, because for talk about that French Montana opener, that's when I called my cousin Joe and I started chilling with him more. I'm like, yo, you want to go with me to do the French Montana opener? And I don't think he had a show, he ever did a show like that. Yeah, I'm out of shit. And uh, murdered it. Murdered that. <laughs> we brought a whole bunch of young niggas. I yeah, we brought that. like 20 <laughs> people. Yo, we had sparkles on the bottle. They sparkles. That was fun, right? When we first started seeing that shit. I love it. come with sparkles. Like... And I got the whole like. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 hold up, man. When I was like, yo, I know these niggas. Swear to God. Yeah, so, yeah, bro, yeah. So we're like, Jordan, don't go over there. I said, I went over there. They was like, yo. So you know, they had to yeah. all these niggas. Up. <laughs> and then when they pulled me in, they were like, yeah, you feel me? I looked at, I looked at, come back online. Oh, you. <laughs> Yo, that was that was actually we had dope. The bathroom, the bathroom was wild. Out. Can't that was actually shit. dope. Uh, just shows after shows, I kept pushing hard, yo. The circuit, and, and then wait, wild. America's Next Top Rapper came. Uh huh. When you moved to the city, to Boston. Now I lived out here. But there was you're missing a part. I know we're talking about Circus Wicked, but before Circus Wicked, when I first got. When we first got reacquainted again and we were hanging out for like two years, I ended up moving to Florida. My fault. Remember, wow. that's that's before Circus Wicked, bro. Let's talk about oh, it, that. Was he in Florida too? Yeah, yeah. come back went up to come back went up Yo, to Florida. So my, I'm so sorry that was a So this is like me being hell of a time. This is I me mean, 19. I just turned 20 years old. And like the like the next three months, I'm like, mom, I want to bounce, I yep. want to go somewhere else. My yep. mind. I want to leave everybody and everything, my car, my, my studio, my friends, my family, my job, and Florida. just revitalize my image, all that shit. It was just losing it, and I was doing too much. I was around too so much after people. Jody's house? Huh? After Jody's? Or go- oh. Yeah, after Jody's. Yeah, this, this is like four years after Jody's. Wow. Because I had my own studio the whole time. This is just Street Life had that studio situation. You know what I mean? Smack dab in the middle of the fucking hood. Yeah, but I wanted to leave and, and go somewhere, so I went out to Florida like on the top of the year, like January. Got a job. <laughs> Uh, three weeks later, I, I came back up north. I mean, actually, a week later, I came back up north, but I applied and shit. That's why I said I got a job. And while we're um, in your studio that you're talking about with the booth, yep. I got a call in the booth while I was recording the record for our, our tape together, and they said I got hired. So I went out there in February, and I was out there for like a few months, and then you ended up moving out there like in the June or like a summertime, right? Yeah, left everything. Well, I didn't really have much. Uh, I had a girl. Broke up. Uh, After your birthday, up. though, like you just turned 20. 19. You were 19 down there? Because I felt like I left I left Florida when I was going to turn 21. I think I was like, uh, maybe 20. Oh, maybe 20. You had just turned 20 and then you moved. Yeah, because we couldn't drink out there like that. Yeah. Um, wink, yeah. wink. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we still went to clubs. Broke up. Know? We broke up with the girl, and then uh, 
I think I just left like the next day. And um, I'm like, I'll go. You know, he had said he had shows going and I'm like, yo, I need to go. Yeah. And I'm a Rolling Stone. Yeah. So I moved out there. And again, I think we lived with like five motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, roommate lifestyle. Yeah, we had neighbors. Shout out to Cedar Murray. We had neighbors that like just came. Like it was just a house of entertainment. Our dude Cedo. Cedo. You know, salute Cedo Murray. We met a great people. Check. Actually, you got a podcast, Tree Line Podcast. Yes. Check that out. Cedo. You know what I mean? He's a great guy. We met him out in Orlando, Florida. Guy had wavy hair, like an '80s guy, yep. like, and a great guy. Uh, then we had kids from like Kentucky and they, we uh, North just had Carolina, our, and different because it was like a tourist area. So like, we were on I International sold, Drive. That's where we lived at. I kind of started selling bud, so we started meeting a lot more people, and it's cool. And everybody's like, it was dope. And one of our Friends moved down, and probably two weeks into him moving down, we lost light. Mm, yeah. We didn't have no light. Yeah. And we didn't have no. I had to air figure that shit out. Then somebody go to the back and like. Yeah, we take would like electricity. hack that thing. In the, in the side of the in the complex yeah, areas. You know it sucks because like whoever somebody has that bill. <laughs> Someone. Has that on their credit? That was a good experience because we're like in a different um, temperature. We had palm trees, we had geckos. It was amazing. It wasn't squirrels and like a sh- small city with big dreams. It was yeah. like a world big world ass world city world big with like you know unimaginable dreams that you could you know you get to explore daily. You, you could be on a, a free fucking a, a background person in a movie. You look at the ads like, oh, come down to this area in Orlando. You could be in a movie. Or we'll pay you two hundred dollars. Like, there's a lot of opportunities, but we're young, so we only know knew so much. You we're know what I mean? From a small place, that's what it is. So we had to adapt and figure it out. You know that's what I mean? One thing I noticed when I went to Florida, that, yeah, I moved out of the city. Big, as young big. everywhere you got to go. Know, Thirty minutes, twenty. You need a car. Yeah, you, know, you know, you know how one. No, we're twenty. Know how we're twenty. Young and stupid, we were. Well, Our moms allowed us to go though. It was like, what? My somebody sent us like, well, sent me. I don't think a message? I don't know. I think we got like, uh, I got two hundred, uh, twelve hundred dollars, thirteen maybe. You know, to like live over there. You know, like yo, spend it on good shit. Yo, <laughs> I took that money and I bought a chain. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's funny. That's funny. And what, it was what the, year? What year is this? Oh, 2009. Nope. No, eight. Eight. Oh, wait. Bought a fat chain. I was starving for a week. <laughs> but he was sleep, sleeping with his chain. But I had wake black up. and white Pumpy. diamonds. Yeah, like that, like and I was just more you worried. Had zebra, you had the zebra joints? I had, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I even was... Salvation I diamonds. was way more about flexing. And oh, like, and so I was cute. hungry. We had no light. I don't even think we had hot water. Yeah, it was uh, for like two weeks. For like Top. two weeks. It take the judo for you. But like, I'm over here going to 7-Eleven with like our other boy, and I'm like, yo, check this out. Like, she's gonna act different today because I have this chain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah different. I, 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 I swear to God, I go. Chain yo, I said, good. Watch this, dog. Can I get a great Philly? Yo, the, yo. <laughs> That's what I mean. No, no, I think I, I go. What's can up? I get, no, I go. Garcia <laughs> Vega. Yo, not there even. There were Phillies down I there. I go, though. I go. Can I get a Cigarello? A Cigarello, yeah. It was like a, a Philly. Or, no, but like when, no grape white or strawberry. But when she turned around, she's like, she like stared at the camera chest. Past, and I go. And then she's like, oh, hey, oh, how you doing today? I was like, to, to my boy. And I was like, oh, it's going to change our life. Yeah. And, hey, go to yo, and then, uh, yo. We were in this place called Pleasure Island and in like Disney around around that area. Yeah, downtown Disney. And I'm walking with my It's called Disney Springs now. Disney okay. Springs. Yeah. I was walking in around I thought I was the coolest fucker ever. Of course. With this chain, bro. He had his chest poked out his like, <laughs> yeah. I bet. Yo, and we're walking around and like I don't know, there might have been like a bachelorette party. 
that yeah, they came out from a bar or something. They were. If you were in Orlando, there's always the best. Yeah, place. yeah. So they were all wearing. That's hilarious. Hey, they were all. <laughs> go out any day of the week. Yo, literally. You find a bachelorette. Crasher. Oh, getting drunk. Yo, wait to hear this. So, like, they're all wearing pink dresses and all blondes. And, like, we're walking by them. And these girls are like, oh, oh my God. Can, I, can I wear your chain in this picture? <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm like, uh, yeah. And fucking. I was fucking. I should have gone for it. I remember saying the wackest thing though, because after we took the picture with them, fucking nuts. They're like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Nothing." <laughs> and my boy's like, "Are you an idiot?" And I, <laughs> yo, I said nothing, and then they're like, "Oh," and like I don't know, they walked away, and they were, the we're walking yes, away. And my boy's like, "You're it. what? You're an idiot, bro." It is like it. you should have said. Should have reeled them in. Yeah, but I was worried about my chain getting back. <laughs> like, can I get my chain back? <laughs> nah, but yo, Florida was a great time. It was probably one of my best times. Yeah. And it was you, you couldn't even be like sad. Yeah. Because we were so young and like we had palm trees. Mm-hmm. Nah, yeah, I, I took a big chance going over there. Like a big chance. Nobody already. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Shit like yeah. What? At all. Yeah. At all. Yo, I look at a kid that age now, I'm like, you would never survive. Bro, my son is 15. If I made him to go to Florida, I'm busting his ass. Especially now. Yeah. yeah no. We had to work. I'm coming out of here. Yo, you, you not, Florida, not even, yeah. just like every kid, bro, they're too young now. I feel like they're Oh, they're the younger, phone, yeah. Like, so eventually, I just graduated like three, four years like, ago. Honestly, they're mad dumb now. So it's like, you can't fucking survive what we just went through. So, yeah, cause I mean, I'm pretty sure they can because we heard about it from uh, uh, generations higher than us. They were younger doing yeah, shit. But, yeah, but at 12, 13, leaving. Yeah. They had the paper. Exactly. They had donkeys, you know, going yeah, around shit. They didn't have like. Yeah, but like. You get up to the wrong stop, you fucked it, aren't they? <laughs> nah, this generation's a little not nah, ready. Cool Enabled here. Yeah. So, you know, it was ballsy to do that shit. No, it really was. And honestly, did it last? Nah. Yeah. I remember this. Rough, a good year. I was there for like 10 months. Uh, a year longer than everybody else ever did. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. at that age, bro, at least we lasted that long. Well, that's common. A lot of people who leave New England will go to Florida or somewhere else and come right back, right? Like, everybody come back to Hoyle. Do you feel like, though, like when you came back, you had something to bring back and, and like, you mean more insight to what uh, you had? I believe. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think that drove it further because we just came back. You feel different as a, a human. He you feel came different. back first. Like that chain, was it like? Like for, for for comeback, like the building that the comeback. Oh, that made. Oh yeah, definitely. That, for, that definitely. actually made comeback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More. more like Skull Boy, you know what I mean? Like more, black. bro. The swagger went off the roof with that. It's like getting a new cut. Yeah. You walk different. It's every yeah. Friday. I talk different. Yeah. I fucking give you that. I sling that fucking drink different. There's a black market like within uh, the commission, Ooh. so it's a little more darker. Skull boy type feel. So that chain complemented his style. That's probably what made you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Not yet. And uh yeah, so Florida changed a lot of a view of life. You know what yeah. I mean? At a young age. That's where you kind of grow up too. Like the perception as a wise and the change and you're able to have a, a clear you know, perspective. You, just went, you didn't have hey, anybody. You, know, shit, yeah. learn about it. you didn't have anybody. Yeah. Right. My mom came down there for like a weekend and she came to the apartment. She filled the, the, the fridge up, cleaned it up, filled it up with groceries. Well, all while talking shit, but like she got, you know what I mean? She saved yeah, she yeah, saved you know. us. She saved us, you know what I mean? I was like, damn, that shit, wow. So, meanwhile. Florida, though. Florida, man. Shout out I, Florida. We met these two chicks with a brother from the Bronx. I don't know. I think they lived there for a while, but they were moving a little more. So then, two bad sisters, and uh, I don't know how, like... I just, they loved me. And the East Coast they swag. actually loved me. <laughs> I mean, when, when, like, they when both they... started liking me hard. This is... And it was yeah. insane because. Two best sisters, one yo, brother. This is the funniest story. We went to <laughs> one of our roommates' cousins. He had a room and stopped by uh, South by Southwest. Yeah, at the resort, Disney Resorts. Yeah. 
Mm. And yeah. we brought them with us. That's the time when our electricity was out too. Yeah. And we had a group. That's why y'all was out. We yeah, brought the so girls. Where we, where they, we they said, come over. Yeah. They said, come over. We, we brought the girls, them two there. But there was a time where everything went sour, bro. And uh, I, they called me in a room and like they both came up to me and them were smoke, they were smoking outside. So you could, there was that window. Me. So everybody's seeing what the fuck's about to go down. And I'm like, hold up, a bay window? Like your sliding doors. It's the windows are, it's a sliding door, it's a room. So they can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They can see. So you they in the room, they on the porch, connected to the other door to the living room. They on the porch. So, so they can see. What's going on in the room. So then the two of them come up to me and then they're like, yo, you're going to fucking tell us right now. Who do you like? Who do you want? <laughs> yo. Yeah, and, they played that. and then they were in the back. They were like, like a group hurt. of them, and I'm like, I'm not laughing at you. I go, what the fuck is this? At that point, nobody. I had an ill swag. Like nobody, like a girl telling me anything. You didn't think they'll both confront and yeah. and like be okay with it, but like say, yo, choose one of us. Yeah, and I'm y'all like, both know y'all sneaking behind. I don't each know other. what I said. <laughs> I think I got out of. I, I don't know what I said because I'm. Both are young. I am alive, so. I think so. I, I I worked something at that time. I had any fucking excuse, yeah. and you're gonna believe me. Young nigga shit. Yeah. Young nigga shit. Or young or, nigga shit. or I don't like you. And <laughs> not, you really want me to like you, so <laughs> you follow the fucking footsteps. I like your sister. She's dance with the girl you came with. You know what I mean? So, uh, so then you know. That was just a part of life, but in general, just it taught a lot in Florida. So it was cool. And then we just, our run ended. We were young. We didn't have much money. We're young. Shit. Yeah. So, too, too close to the sun. It's you okay. know. So then came back. back. Yeah, coming back. I came back four days before I turned 21. He, he came back first. I came back first. I was out there like 10 months. 10 months total. Well, he yeah. came back because he had got his girl pregnant. Oh, yeah. Over there. I love it. Actually, I got her pregnant over there, yeah. I came back, hey, I'm about to be doing and then I turned 21. Huh? And I was... I was so mad. Yeah. Because I'm like, damn. Wait. He's, he's leaving. Me. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, that's why I came. But you had to just understand life, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I couldn't argue. Like, yeah. Dude, you ever kid? It was like shift, because I was working somewhere when I left. The yeah. position I left, he, he got hired to work at. You know what I mean? So, like, shit's fucked up, and this shit just happened. Like, I gotta go. I, I think when I came yeah, back, TV. yeah, we we're young, you know. After the stress was kicking in at yeah. a certain time, depression yeah. started kicking in yeah. I at a certain time. Like when you realize, shit. yeah, we're doing adult shit, yeah. So you're like, why am I coughing blood when I'm smoking or yeah, yeah, whatever random shit. I think I came back, and uh, I think that was the time. A little bit after that, where it was the Elm Street dates. Yeah, the Elm, Elm Street. Street is wild. That's like 2011, uh, 2012. That's around the circus that's weekend. That's when, that's when Day Day started. came that's in. Yeah. and yeah. Day Day was always around. It was just. In and out. In we and was out. fucking up the circuit. We were in a, I was only with JoJo. Yeah. He was so always that's, with. That's how I was introduced to you guys. Yep. Yeah, yep. And yep. at that time, we started chilling at a bar, Golden Horse. And. Yeah. What a great time. It, that just changed a little bit of life. Uh, yeah, back, we're like, I got a great idea. Let's fucking make a show here. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. And I, at that point, I'm opening up. I, I We just did a Puerto Rican festival. 10 shows later, we're like, what the fuck? And now we did a Puerto Rican festival. Then we opened up the Yeah. Fridge. Oh, fire. And we were just night. moving. Fire. Yeah. Yeah, at the night. worst dive bar, like... Trap bar. We were Yo, just bro, they had to set that day. Oh, we're, we're using this shit as a venue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's some people using But like we, we, we packed it out. Um, that's what we did, though. That's and that was the time. That moment, that's what I remember. No matter where we were, yeah. it was lit. There was momentum at that time frame, yeah. too. Most you remember the point Circus of Wicked yeah. was, that's, that was like heavy Circus Wicked after that. And that was paying us for that uh, Puerto Rican festival, right? Yeah. Like the fucking DJ was acting like a prick. Oh, yeah. And then he thought we did it in Spanish. 
You were like, yo, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, I'm like, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, I'm about to say something. Yo, come back, I'm about to say something. You were like, no. I'm like, yo, pa, que te cree que los otros los saben lo que estás diciendo, hermano. Yo, it was hilarious. Oh, mamma mia, yo, who's coming up right now? Me. I'm like, yo, papito, I'm finna, you know. I said, we got another venue to go to, bro. We open up for Fresh Montana, get paid, like, what, 500 for these couple minutes? Like, we need to go, bro. Yo, it... It's just been a roller coaster. Like, yeah. Oh, um, and then Circus Week was gone. Then I started doing my own shit. You know what I want to say, though, bro, in the midst of everything? You released one, to my knowledge, you released one project. It was Circus Week. Am Swiggy. I correct? I was about to say that. Yeah. I mean, we did a duo, we did but a it duo. was like songs no, was that we had Swiggy. and we put it together called there Stadium Status. And I had oh, we did a Circus Wicked uh, tape too. Yeah, but I had that one project. Oh, you only had one solo project. Oh, you're right. Uh, there was a solo project. I coming did of before. age, something like that. It was coming of age, mm. and it was actually his cousins. Oh yeah, twins. the twins, the twins. Yeah, and they made all my beats. Yeah, and uh, that was actually my first album that I put on that Piff. So that was the first time that when that booth came and I had the Mac. That was my project. He got some RZX sound. For, huh? for his first debut, it was RZX. Because yeah. the twins were like a, a group with me. Huh? Before we made it a label with Mar. What's the other one? Hav and, Hav and Cali. Yep. Hav and Cali. Yep. Yep. Don't shout out to that. Mar because Mar has been a. Oh, Mar's the one that, yo, that's listen, brother. Mar's the one that first put a nigga on. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even know what the fuck I'm moving For sure. Sir. For sure. And what? One of my brothers. Like, literally, I can't even say nothing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Circus Wicked, I made, when I made the group, I think I, I had that little project before it, the one. like right to make that group. That was, I made a single other project. Because Commission just had like one tape. No, I know. And but then like a run, but like no performances. Circus or, Wicked wasn't even a gang yet. Circus Wicked it was, was like really It was the name of the mixtape. And then somebody tri triggered my mind. They're like, "Yo, that's a hell well." Circus man. Circus Wicked was like, like Circus Wicked was like some commission members and some RZX members. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like some solid RZX members like join union. Comeback and his yeah. darkness. Yeah. We're like the union. We're like like individual. It was a different union. Yeah, yeah, every yeah, yeah, time. yeah. Exactly. There's different seasons for different groups it to was. form and shit and work on music. Oh, That's the best thing about this music journey I love is that if we can create and put a, a, some art, a body of work out, let's go for it, man. Right. Straight up. I don't want to just be bullshitting in the studio all the day. Absolutely. Let's, let's get some shit going. The creatives. It's like yeah. the creatives thing. No. Like you said, it's like where, where the, real, the real motherfuckers put in work. You feel me? Yeah. Like, like this life is art, so let's record something. You hear Chan, I may not see you again for the next blah, blah. Let me get some vocals. I'll put it on something. You know? You know what I mean? But um, then that, I did that little solo project, and that's when I started trying to promote myself. And this is a little bit right before the show. So I was, I burned mad CDs, and then I went to like, I don't even know. Like, this hustle was crazy. I went to, like, almost every bodega in the hood. Yo, bro. Mad fucking different bars. And I dropped. And I dropped. The mixtapes right on the counter. Hold that. What was it? Like, take it for free? Take or? it for free. Oh, yeah. Nah, he didn't go fuck. Bro. It Say was, like, day, every man. bodega you could go to. <laughs> every bodega you could go to. Yo, check these when you... When you, you could have got that CD. And I never cared about the money. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, that's what. Yeah. This is what I do. We had certain gigs where they paid. We had gigs where we paid. I. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. You know what I mean? Like. I mean, those openers. That's weren't that's free. how I learned. Awesome. Those openers weren't free. Well, that's how I learned in the music industry coming up. Is like we're young, so we're dealing with promoters and shit. Is a is a pay to play. Yeah. To a degree, it was you know what I mean? Publicity, like, bro. But you're investing in yourself. You, yep. If you're doing it right, you can add it to your catalog and in, in your resume, and it looks splendid. You know what I mean? All in all, like that's. But to me, it's like smoke and mirrors. Like for me, like at, in time, I didn't like performing. I love performing, but I didn't like dealing with certain, you know, businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah certain and shit. Like yeah. yeah. Like, now I'm on. Now I'm on a different wave right now. You know, content creating and all that shit. That's so. We'll dig in. We could do a scrape from the studio, you know, a scrape from the, the back house, the back porch of someone's crib. You could do it anyway. We don't got to deal with 
other entities and what have you. Yo, is there a fucking... I'm trying to figure it. Yeah. But that's yeah. where it starts. It's those, days, it's those days y'all talk about, you know, where it started, you know? From where it started to you, what you we got are in this moment now where it's like, fuck you, pay me. I got <laughs> fuck my you, shit. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm going to keep doing my thing. Somebody going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the point of... It's Rem host <laughs> interviewing me, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah, we come a long that's way. Insane. We're in the year 2024. <laughs> And uh, but these are things y'all talked about unknowingly, you know. Unknowingly, these are the days y'all y'all dreamed about, y'all talked about. This is this is the manifestation of it all. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you, you know, know. You put that energy out years ago. And I always wanted to put my best friend with me. Just he just never wanted to go to a show like it's but but then one random night he, he snapped into motion and started fucking yep. executing yeah made a holio you want to stand up real fast they're right behind you that right here made a holio long live just okay. you know which there are new sweaters new sweaters we'll grab your shit. uh st patty's day there will be the, there will be the tent Tell him Ray sent you. Hot ones, man. Just, he released two Made in Holyo projects, if I recall, right? Yes, oh, Made yep. Holyo, one, two. Made two, yes, sir. Man. Streaming on your platforms. Streaming all sites, right. all that, you could definitely support, you know, by playing the music. That's a legend in Holyoke. Um, a major loss to, you know, our, our group. Oh, yeah. It's considered family, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. We got a street named after him here. Yep. The street name called Extraordinary Way. Yeah. Just a thing, and uh, he was just a part of my life a lot. So, oh, yeah, big time. Uh, all of us. The music. He got his videos. Check that out either on Joe Vega on yep. YouTube, YouTube channels Man, or Extraordinaire. I think Extraordinaire for one three if I'm not. Hashtag I'm made in Holyoke. Yep. Screw it up. Take a little moment right now because just thinking about the bro. It's like, oh, yeah. Let's take one for, for real. Yeah. So uh uh so fucking you know, me and Just, we were so close. Every brother argues, you know what I mean? We were very stubborn, uh very competitive. Oh yeah. Casey could be tight. I seen that, yeah. It Casey was, be tight all the time. But it was sword sharp and sword, like iron sharp and iron, you know what I mean? Like it was it was fucking love each other so much. I'll be in the middle, and then it'll be both against me. And they both I against you. I can't do no shit. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was, uh, uh, so... <laughs> I'm about to see I think you, the, the, hostel, the I think there was a time that the world, the, even the towns, just... There was a time that we needed to do another song for what level we were on, like, kind of recently. And to hear these two again would have been... Oh, yeah. After years of this what history, what was your last song, bro? I think Porsche. I don't know, but it would have been. It would have been like a. It would have been just a fucking crazy oh, yeah. sound. Because oh, yeah. it's just I have both of y'all, and this is like two thousand nine. Fucking gods. Two thousand nine, one of one of those projects. No, and then two thousand ten, I had both of y'all. No, we were on tracks. I'm talking about like a the track. last time I remember with like knowing that y'all two were on a track and it was with us and the team. Absolutely. 2010. Yeah. That's, that's the last time I remember. Who was it? Uh, it was I don't pain remember the name. With me, you, and him. Pain. The Pusha T one. This is, but nah, but it was. I don't remember the name. Horsey, I think it was the last one where you was Pushy. Nah, that was way before. But uh, Pain came when Pusha T. I Can't pain. Be Touched. That's the name of the track. I Can't Be Touched. That he was, was on that. That's 2010. Mm. I don't Yo, know. when you um, when you at sports in the um, the baby and all that shit, um, it was a lost file, huh? Fuck yeah. it, what, lost. What year to give us that um studio? To hear those tracks, man, that would be. Oh, to hear like even that piff got rid of him. No, yo. That's uh, that's another topic. When I heard just on Porsche today, I was like, man, yeah, Porsche. No, nah, but uh. That's before extraordinary. We nah, y'all never got a track done in the in the twenty tens era like that. Yo, those we were years just so weird. Like, you know, like it was just so weird. It was trend setting though. 
it would everybody wanted to hear it, but it was just like we would talk about it, but like why did and it, shit it was just so weird, yeah. Fucking five, six days a week. You guys are always chilling, yeah. On top we'd be chilling. Um that's all it was. I don't know. I just think it was a. It started becoming more about our fucking. We just started egoing out, yeah. <coughs> but um, we fucking made each other so much better, man. Oh, yeah. And you know, honestly, he made me better in the beginning. Like, oh, yeah. The, like when I first started rapping. Yeah. He was. Because they were saying like, that he was the the better one in the duo in the beginning. And then you're like the novice, and I then was, like I was actually you guys the reached the same level in that group. I just uh-huh. made the group. I made the group. I was just. You was a spanager. Uh, yeah. Spanager. Yeah. <laughs> that shit like it's like Clay and Steph though. You know what I mean? You but, threes, I'm shooting threes too. But yo, <laughs> nah, nah. Video shooting threes like us. Yeah, but. You I competition. I took that shit way far. Like I'm like, all right, now I'm gonna be the man. And it started showing. Yeah, but then that's what kind of like. Things started splitting apart, so like it was now uh, separately showing it, um, getting better on our own. Yeah. Um, but it was just two like motherfuckers that were just like, yo, we did our thing, you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, he hit a hard fucking, he hit a hard area for people, you know? And we're two different rappers. Yeah. I'm more of like the anger of it. I was more like uh He would like South like, P, he would like Jada. Yeah, I was gonna say you guys are you guys are two different styles but from the same I soil. Don't know about that. You guys are cut from like the same cloth. Yeah. Y'all too. two. Two different two styles different, but two cut different from the same routes. Cloth. It was two different routes. Two it's different messages. Yeah. Yeah. It was around yeah, the same yeah, message yeah, though. You, you, nah, you definitely the villain. It was more Yeah, like, I could see him yeah, a villain. Good cop, I'm bad cop. Talk about talk about the world. No, good cop, bad cop. Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck. He was more trying to help He was helping out the, the com- people. Yeah, he like, was helping out the community. Okay, basically And you'll be like it, thrashing the community. I would like, <laughs> like the, it would if be, you look he's at that. Trying to help. Hey, like, help and then if you play my like, city, it's this, like fuck this. Yeah. Kick a trash can over. This is bullshit. This is bullshit, but like this is real. This is bullshit. This could go controversial. This is bullshit, but this is real. All right. yeah. And but the thing I loved is, it. But, but the thing is, it was like yin yang. It was like yin yang. That's like yin yang. It was literally yin yang. But just shit, bro. That's balance. That boy, that boy was on some different shit. That boy was a heartbeat. Period. Yeah. Yeah. He was fucking up the game, bro. That nigga had a fucking following, bro. Yeah. A following. He didn't want to do it if he wasn't saying nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted to make sure he was. And you know what I want to say? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was, was hitting. Sitting there watching freestyle, and like he he wouldn't want to rap if he wasn't saying something that meant something. He was Facts. hitting harder. He was super dedicated to getting his message. It was yeah. such a, you know, yeah. Facts. Yeah, what? And you can see it. Another, he, the he, sure. he always looked out for people. Yo, Ram, I'm gonna do the show at this event. You wanna you wanna oh, go with me? I want I want you to come because I know you do your thing. Yo, come with me. Yeah. Photographers are there. The DJs are set. Um, who have everything organized. Yeah, you know? he's singing tight. He wouldn't want to Love record it. with me at night because I used to get lit back in the day. I'm thinking it could be sun, but I used to get lit back in the day. Like, damn, I'm recording with you in the morning, nigga. I don't need you to be fucking around. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I said, what's up, this show? This nigga had me recording this shit for breakfast. What the fuck? Would you say you're his hype man at some point, too? Um, like, towards like the end of his. No, definitely. You know what I was? Like, you were an artist was... as well, but like, no, I no, seen no, no, you. Listen, listen, listen. Like, he. he the way he was doing it, this is this shit in. So he was like, he used to be like, yo, yo, if you're gonna fucking record, if you're gonna do the shit, at least do <laughs> these tracks for me, and let's do yeah. this. I'm like, I'm like, yo, we're gonna do the show. He's like, yeah, dude, we got two this weekend. And then yeah. I'm like, like, what the fuck? He took it more serious. Like, he yeah, started taking yeah, it. So yeah, like, yeah. At the end of the day, though, and then once he got, like, magic. a good video guy, like, that's your. Yeah, I saw you had an own bro, video. Yeah, bro, you know, you got you in the hood. You had to in the hood. I looked at like at that period, like just was bringing you out again, and you're being consistent as far as your artistry. Because you got like a couple videos with him, you're on the shows with him. Uh-huh. And that's what it was. And I was like, at least we have yeah. someone from us still being active in this way. The talent, really. the talent we were I'll around, be featured, but we, my cousin? we pushed that out of each other in every any given moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
we we made each other want to be better. We wanted to be better hearing him rap all night, does rap sure. all night, for sure. You rap all night, you feel me? Like it and, made you want to do better. I don't even rap, and I I wanted to rap all yeah. night. But they go all night. I call him a vampire too. Yeah. And like, uh, while we're recording this shit, it's like you know after hours. You know what I mean? And he all came, the time. He came yeah. from New York right now. That's where that's where you've been living came, for the past. Came, came to do this shit. How long you been out in New York now? Seven, eight years now. Seven, eight years. Almost a decade, bro. Shit, that shit's what? Yeah. Going back Whoa. there. And... I remember when you was manifesting that shit. You were like, yo, go to city. I was like, fuck, I'm fuck. Yo, nobody, I'm fuck. <laughs> I just, yo, it was yo, the same. God, bro. Nah, he was like, I'm out. Yeah. It was the same thought process I did with Florida. Yo, you were tired of shit. You were like, I'm tired of shit. Now I'm just like, yo, I'm a, I just jumped. This is win with it, but that was where you're Buy you're born. You're born in NY. Buy Hey, I he said, yo, I think I got one out over there. Didn't go where, where to his out lives. You went somewhere else. I got, do I jumped. Still, do you still write music? Absolutely, every day. Um, so when I moved back out, back out there, it was just tough. I, back to actually America's Next Top Rapper, because that's before I left. Oh, okay. That was in Boston. Um, that was 300 people. And uh, we were there from like eight to like nine thirty at night, bro. But out of three hundred people, I made top ten. Fire! And this is a TV show, like a recorded it was one. So, it was supposed to be bought by VH1 or something. They didn't pick it up. I don't think they did. Obviously, no. Um, I would have definitely been on that fucking first. Oh, did you do another little, like a little? And and I did that. Made top ten. And yo, I honestly saw two a group, one of my cousins' group, uh, Street Demons. They were in it, and then the uh, Derek. And you know to see them and like uh, them, uh, we mean, uh, Derek Ramos. And he gave yo, they gave me love when they, is, they, they, is. They, yeah, is. when when, they, when I got chosen. Oh yeah, shout out. Um, it goes, it was together. The, uh, the judges were Rockwaller, Trina, uh, the big DJ from Boston, and then uh, one of the Grammy Award winning writers for, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that guy really liked me, though. Boy, <laughs> And uh, made top 10, bro. And Rockwaller took Saul in the back. He's like, yo, you guys made top 10. It was a crazy feeling. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he gave us a speech right before we. It was the it was the last. Uh, it's a speech. Microphone check. Yo, yo. Uh, you he ever sent you anything? No. Yeah, he judged me. He you know, and he judged you, and I accepted. I accepted his judgment. Yeah. Huh? He made gods. So judgment. Uh, he gave a speech. Yo, that speech was good. Did you take that speech like? Into consideration into of like consideration he's anything for that last round, absolutely. Because uh, that last round, yeah, I remember just us ten, and I became cool friends with like the guy behind me. He was good, and uh, I'm like, yeah, well, good luck. And uh, we were going, and yo, like the my stage presence all the time, I bro. Don't lie, yo, let, slip. Let me tell you something. That stage presence, so I could do nothing. But you could use the camera. nobody was, yo, there was cameras like everywhere. So like nice. when you go up, bro, I was flirting with the cameras, bro, while I was saying the hardest shit. <laughs> and it's like, who the fuck's this kid? Just throwing your comfortableness on stage. Yo, it was so wild because I knew I stood out. I already knew. <clears throat> There was one other guy, he had a jean jacket, nigga looked like Drake. Jean jacket. He looked like Drake. But he was all right. It was good. Is that one he gave me a run for my money. So I started moving more different. And, you know, at the end, he, oh, he couldn't choose any of us. So then they made his battle. But you couldn't swear. No, you the handheld. Too. And all I had was a battle verse. So I had to hide mad swears while you spit. You know what I mean? And yo, honestly, I didn't even fucking swear on this because I had to face it. This guy already lost to me because he swore. 
So all I had to just do was just rap. Finish the song. Not even. Just I could have did a fucking single, but I fucking did that battle rap, and then like I tried hiding shit. But when you say shh, you know it kind of sounds like it. Say yo, these guys disqualify me, but like yo, they pull me aside. They're like yo, you you got a huge talent. But yo, I'll, honestly. That following on that social media, like, I never in the beginning had that. And that shit's important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yo, man. but honestly, I hate hearing that because I don't care, bro. If you're good and a fucking a producer just hears you, like, yo, that sound is euphoric for somebody's head. You know what I mean? Like... Wow, this guy's so, like the fact yeah, you know somebody like could no you a uh, song could it's catch encouraging you, yeah it's and you're just like fuck following we'll just get him right. dude this guy has it but that's why the following is important that's I know independence absolutely you and got, it's got, hard you got you got some bargaining chips against the the record labels you know as as an independent artist with a million followers it's hard also because yo coming out of here bro. You gotta do it yourself. No, it's not easy. Yeah. They don't listen to rap. Many, and we're in. Yo, how many times you heard it? Massachusetts. We're in the hood, bro. Massachusetts. You mean Boston? No, no, listen. I'm like, you talk about Boston. murder mass. We're in the hood. Our friends Holy don't Papa. even really support. It's just, that. it's just. It's na that shit is natural, though, right? It's like. Junior Coast like, Street. You watch volleyball? No, no, you don't, you don't know. You know, so it's. You know. But. Oh, I know what you mean by that. Like the music, the music wise is like they don't want to support because they know of you or they see you. But when you start seeing you doing visuals out in Miami or in Puerto Rico and with the music you've been doing since forever, now they want to be on your jock and be like, "Damn, this place." They'll be talking about you, barbershops, all that. And Holyoke isn't like the like. Top listen to Jarvis oh, wait, out there, oh, oh, you know? It's oh, if you're going shit. It's a, it's a lot of Latino music. All right, it's, it's a lot of Latino, right? It's like, it's like baby Puerto Rico. But look at, look at it this way. Hip-hop hip -hop is 50 years, 50 years old, right? What, what, what age is we at? We in our early 30s, right? So we've been doing this shit for a while on top of musically, right? So look at the origins of who's who and Julio, just as far as music. It was Latin. There's a lot of Latin. So let's look at who's doing music. It was Spanish or there was English. Now let's look at who's doing it in English. Yeah. Who yeah. was doing it before us? Not not many. But who was doing it in our era? We solidified, you know what I mean? Like artistry and shit like that. Yeah. For generations under. And even way more now. Oh, yeah. And they got inspired by social media and all that shit. Turned into a community. Facts. Everybody was rapping. But building Everyone. that, that local was following. Up to you like, Yo, you happy? You Jojo? The following. Yeah, it's not easy out of, out of where we It's from. not easy, yeah, because people would know, oh, the rapper kid, the rapper dude, the, oh, that little... The little lazy yeah, yeah, whatever. The no, they not going to hear it if it's not whatever. on Pandora and shit. Oh, you know? man. There was a My music's on Pandora. Hey, yeah, I mean, it's on streaming sites. Definitely support. You can go listen to that if you want. It'll, it'll matter. We're not getting paid, I guess. We get a little sense. Yeah. Well, we getting paid, but. Get me in the hood. I'm not going to lie. They just come get me in the hood. Lose buddy. I swear to God. Yo, don't do it. We've been expecting you. I said, what? But there's certain aspects coming from where from that we don't have that local support as big as it should be. Yeah. That was that's just in their nature. Well, how support is YouTube? It's just in their nature, but it's it's okay. It doesn't it it's, it could make you or break you. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? He's sitting here today talking about he's still applying pressure, so it's like still going. All that matters is the the vision you have. So there are people listening. For sure, and people always remember. Yo, you oh people be just as excited, but it's not about me personally. It's not about validation from the outside. You know, you guys are lucky. You guys are getting something that I find value, right. valuable. So here you go. I take that as treasure. Yeah. You know, all the material we put together, all the shows we Just performed do at, we do what we love till death. And even after, you know Yo, what I mean? Because we're leaving this shit. Yo, I'm not going to lie. And I don't. You guys did a lot. I'm not going to say nothing. Me and Rem. And I probably would say more, uh, but definitely more. Yo, nobody pushed harder. And just. Yeah, but I'm talking about, I'm going. talking about years yep. of yeah. pushing. And still going. Years of like, and still going. You know what I mean? Because you still creating. Rem, Rem right here. So, Mar nah, still creating. Nah, me, me yeah. No, no. Nah, nah. So, album. even him bringing up, he brought up something. When I moved to, back to New York, 
fucking I set my record to Hot 97. Like, I don't know. Like, it was a crazy story because I think I lost my card and I just moved there. What card? Your ID or? No, like my bank card. And it was that day you could only send it. I don't know how I gathered both. mad change okay. from my aunt's thing. And I, it was raining real hard. Oh and I go, and I have to go to 7-Eleven. Oz was a good nah, thing. check it out. I, I had to go to 7-Eleven to put this change that makes $10 into that card. So, Green up. it's pouring. At, uh, and I just kind of moved out there. You know, I'm staying my aunts. And I'm like, to my little cousin, I'm like, yo, you got a bike? He's like, yeah, I got a bike. She's like, it's right here. And I'm like, a pink bike? Lean, like look that way. Bike with the I'm more that way. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like a pink the bike. Skewers? And uh bro, I fucking rode a pink bike through the fucking bro, hail and rain. Pink change. I put the money in the card. I went back. I went on Hot 97's site. I submitted the track. And bro, for three months, every Friday, because I had to they would play it. Yeah, and I had to beat somebody else. Yeah. Somebody else's record. So every Friday for three months. Yeah. He was on radio. I kept winning. That's awesome, bro. <laughs> yeah, In yo, New I'm York. Yeah, and I go, what the fuck is happening? And I go, yo, it was giving me goosebumps. The goose flashes. And I'm like on the computer. I'll see like I won again, again. And then there was a side competition to make it to summer jam oh my so God, Drews, dj drewski chose my record to put it into that contest Man. so then i think the first three weeks i won and i'm like yo this is fucking crazy i just moved out here like i, I moved back out here and i'm like this is what's going on yeah and Yo, it literally would just give me goosebumps. And I'm like, this is fucking nuts. And that was not so long after the fucking, uh, the, 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 the hip hop. Yeah, record. yeah. And I'm like, and okay. Like, oh. And then I kept winning. And then that, I think that fourth week of the Summer Jam uh, competition, they put my song like against like an R&B song. It was good, but like ain't nobody gonna be the RB song. And I go, real. what? I was like, cause I, I got to hear that song first. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here, yo. Like you why? I don't know your name. It was like Excuse two different this? vibes. Yeah. And I've been winning. Like you're gonna put me out of the blue on some blue suit, yeah. This guy is gonna beat me. No, no, yo, my record could bang with that one all day, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just this guy had a couple good melodies, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I said you like, from across the room. I mean, I kind of sang them. Uh, like, you know, I had to re-hear the song, so like, he had it. He's all right. He beat me, and I kind of got fucked. He's all right. <laughs> I, I got devastated, bro. He says and then I, I wasn't finding any, like, I couldn't record anymore because I moved. So, it's either I get my shit or... I don't know how it happened, but I became best friends with MTV's engineer. And uh, this is how real this is because actually I was talking to a girl that he ended up being with, and that's how I met him, which is weird. So you guys make a great couple. So, um,. Yo, he fucking drew an attention <laughs> to me so fast. Like, when I rapped first at his house, at the studio, yo, I didn't have to pay. The fuck are they changing? For, like, even... Bro, the fact of... It's love, bro. Like, that talent, that he loves it. Yeah. It's just, like, you don't have to pay, but... I, You gotta get... We gotta get an album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he pushes me. And the kid's incredible. It's just, what are the chances of that? Yeah. So on time. Now I would say, I have it in my hands right now. Oh yeah. 
I need to push a little harder. And for this album, a lot, I got a good amount of tracks. I just got to decide, you know. And You've been working e on... Maybe even oh, cut. is this now? Now yeah. you're working on music so with this, this guy. Right now. This is where you right now? This is the promotion for this right now. Ooh. This is the promotion for this. Nah, so, um, Eddie's been pushing me. He's like, every Wednesday, let's get That's it. Oh, yeah. This is MTV's engineer, bro. So, like, all these commercials, you, and he's VH1, Comedy Central. That's him doing that shit. Shout out to Austin. Hey, yo, yo, Austin, I know you don't cross the daily. Shout out to Austin. Shout out to Austin. Shout out Austin. I know you don't cross the daily. Yo, MTV. TRL. Bro, I'm recording on all MTV's equipment. Like, it's crazy. And it's. Yeah, is he still dating that girl? Yes. Yeah, you probably in the same yeah, room, shout yo. Austin, shout out Austin. Yo, it's a real yo, motherfucker. Real I couldn't do it. I couldn't do what he done. He, I'm not <laughs> saying it. it's like, I couldn't do that. No, yo, shout out to you Austin. Mean? You're right in the right spot. You know what I mean? He put you but how you incredible racist, is that? To like, life. So, right now, that's what it is. And the project got I on. have everything by the short well, Speaking of names. I know you mentioned earlier before the pod that you were thinking about changing your name. Originally, you know, you said earlier, infamous, comeback, comeback kid, comeback for a while. How you spell comeback, actually? C-O-M-B-A-E-K. It's on the title description anyway, but you know, just so you can say it verbally. Um, but what's up with thinking about changing it, your name? Was a, a different alias? Like Yo, for Project honestly, purposes? Because what? I changed my what name. What you guys heard, like what you guys, what the memory is or the reputation I have out here, like that's a little different now. Like I don't, it's so fucking real now. Not that it wasn't, but I was just a rock star. That was a rock star music. Yeah. yeah. It's not. Totally. It is a spot. Like Ozzy and Black Sabbath. There is a sprinkle of there is a sprinkle of the fucking raunchiness still. It's like the finished product. It is it's just I'm on a different I don't know where this came from. I swear to God, it's probably been a, a year I seen I'm like, yo, who this I? music is who I'm, am I? I'm writing shit, dog. That Bro, I don't fuck around, bro. This shit is so fucking real, what I say. You write in your head, on paper. Right on my head. No, that's, that's most of my time. Like, I always write in my head, just like he did, too. Yeah. And there is times, like, I'll, dude, this shit is so fuck. I, I'm, I'm overwhelming myself because I'm like, yo, this is, this line, I, I really can't forget what yeah, I'm saying. Don't believe me. Okay. So I have to write it. At the end, mm -hmm. um, but what I do is when I write, I'll say that first bar like a thousand fucking times. thousand times. But how long did it take you to? Then the next bar one, a thousand times. Then the next one, I build it. But you know, you and then I, it I end up. Oh yeah. Yeah, I swear to God, it's just my like my content is just so yeah, and it just changed. I think I went through so much fucking life, bro. Need a maturity kicked in, bro. My life is topics. Is, no, it's not. It's not the same person. Yo, my subject life, matter you can't possibly puts yeah, the same image. I swear to God, like, like yeah, I don't think you could. Yeah, keep running that, especially you've been out in the you big city. You get what I'm saying? I'm more matured with yeah. this. Yeah. Where it makes sense. I gotta give this a new title. Does it's, the project got a name? Yeah. Uh, there's two, but I'm gonna keep that on the wraps right for today. Um. I'll give one. Fear the leap year. Fear the leap year. Again? I you never released that, right? I never fear the leap year. No, I mean, like, they gotta fear every well, like that's like detox. Again? Yo, that's like detox. Yeah. Never came out. That's saying it came, came out. But um, your birthday is on a leap year day for and those. And this is who are a leap year. So this year is a leap year. So you should definitely release a project, dude. Absolutely. No, well. You know, this yeah. one coming. Yeah, I got that collab that you recorded sometime in the Art Resurrection Studio. I'm going to use that for a project that's coming out for this, Absolutely. this year. Since you drop a sign, you're on a feature with, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, Resurrection Studio. It's just, uh, 
It's a I've blessing, man. So drastically, bro. Like, I think I just had more time to just choose my beats. Like, yeah. at a time where it wasn't, I wasn't trying to force a record. It's just I would go through a, a, a fucking crate of beats. And yo, you could do that, bro. And like, there's always a fucking beat that just hits. No, hit, yeah. And if you're in that zone, you can write it right there. So you've been inspired for the last almost a decade. You've been inspired for the new lifestyle. I think that the interactions right now with people. it's like the most powerful sound you can hear. It's just a mature content. It's still similar to like your older stuff, but more with substance, but There's still a story. The same character, just like There's improved. Stories. Yeah. I wasn't really big on the stories much. Yeah, you were. Your first your Kinda. first tape, you did like a song or two. Yeah, you're right. Some of the tapes I feel prior like to that. <laughs> My life needs to be said. Yeah. You should definitely release a music video. Like, Absolutely. By and the summer or something shit, bro. We pull up. We go out there to NY. We go support. Oh, no. There'll be a video. You know what I mean? And it's going to... It's going to... This is my last run. Like, if I don't... I have it all right now. Your last if run? If I can't fucking make it now... I know everybody says they put the pen down and that pen would never go down, but... There's a certain time, like... Yo, I did a lot. Are you trying to accomplish something in this Yeah, day I'm day trying show? to... Why did I work so hard in this music for nothing? Can't be better than Jordan if he ain't gonna make it. You know, I'm gonna need a break. Second. Yeah, yeah, we had to take a little break, you know, cloud lounge or what oh. have you, outside, you know, do things the right way. You know what I mean? My brother, come back. You know what I mean? All day. Is a uh, is. It's been a pleasure, good time, great. Yeah. pleasure to even just reminisce. Yeah. About the journey. I mean, we could still ride. we could be talking all day and the get ride. into detail about you know these stories, get more full in depth. But right now, pretty much, you know, you get a clear timing, idea. Timing was a big deal, but I, I'm glad I made it. And, you know, and just and you, getting the time with everybody, you know, just getting back to history. The roots and... The roots, for sure. And for every fucking new artist, yo, remember the gods, yo. Because this is the fucking... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These are the bars you're going to have to fucking overcome. Overcome, yeah. Because we're going to have to set the bar higher right now. Yeah. We always up the bar on them, as far as I know. You know, and you know everybody's I mean? doing their thing, but sometimes, yeah. you know, daddy got to come home. And I'm, I'm excited, you know, at, at one point you were calling yourself Holyoke's mayor. So Holyoke's mayor is back in town. <sighs> At that, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, well, you were NY bound. So Bro, I like, felt like, yeah, that was fucking, that was the era of that. Yeah. That's how hard I was working. Yeah. And nobody could tell me shit. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't judge. I was mm -hmm. doing everything everybody else wanted to do, and you just didn't do it. Mm hmm. They mm -hmm. didn't, people were scared of change, yo. You know what's people funny? People were scared of success. When I started seeing SoundCloud rappers come out, a lot of their grunge style reminded me of a comeback. I was like, yo, that circus wicked baby, this type yo, shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Like, they're rapping distorted. They're doing a little, like, rock mash, but, they, like, yeah. that's his whole persona. Like, just like we said earlier, like, that, that Travis uh, like, Scott crazy, shit. Crazy, yeah. The Travis Scott shit. The fucking Cirque's Oh, yeah, when he did that. The Cirque's World shit. Like, yeah, Cirque's World. I yeah. did that shit before. The Vampire Life. That was a whole different yeah. segment. Yeah. And I did that shit before, Jimmy. Yo, yo, I had a whole this I had something that was the future. I had something yeah. that was the future and like I didn't get to give it. And that's what makes me mad. Cause now it's would sound like I wasn't the sound of that. I would be just another sound to that now. Yeah. Which is not what it is, but 
it is what it is. And uh, we 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 had our run, and I had my run, and I'm still going. I'm still, still pushing. Still going. Back. Yep. And there's not much that are still. I mean, this is the fucking guy who had fucking 18 people under him, you know? Yeah, side by, by side, side by side. And, That's how I looked at it. Um, mm -hmm. Salute to everybody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That was a fucking crazy era. That was just, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, yo, we were the sound. Yeah, well, we are the sound. Like, you know there I mean? was other groups, but, like, yo, we were just in everybody's face. Salute to all groups, you know, the good Absolutely. guys, the haters, salute to all. You know, we we trendsetters, we carving waves. The key word is consistency. Yeah, you yeah, know, we leaders of all generations. That's us. You know, we gonna talk our talk our shit. You know what I mean? But yo, there's anything you want to share? Uh, Actually, yo, app, yeah. can you check that right quick? Is it is it active? So, you know, the album is almost done. Uh, it's a leap year. I'm a leap year fucking baby. Deep your baby. So how old the we... rarest day in the world is my birthday. Would you want to say how old you are right now? Uh, Leap year? Just turned nine, baby. Just turned nine. <laughs> <laughs> I've had nine birthdays in total, like officially. Interesting. In get years. And uh, <laughs> dog years. In dog know? years. <laughs> Reverse dog years. I said get years. So, uh, I, I want to fucking promote this new out. Al uh, this new album more. Single. I can, and uh, I got this new single that I, I actually brought, and uh, it's called Karma. And yep. the lyrics are just, uh, it's about what you think in your gut feeling your girl is. You just don't want to take it. And I'm the guy. Telling you what's happening. So it's basically like a wake up. Get your affairs in order. <laughs> Get your fanatic followers in order, pal. pal. And uh, yeah, karma. So you want to share Sir, that? This is Circus Wicked. And yep. Big shout out to fucking Rem. My brother. Day Day. My cousin Joe. Louie. Saludo. And. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to just everybody still pushing. R.I.P. Just Extraordinaire. R.I.P. Extraordinaire. Just, you know what I mean? But with all that being said, we're going to move. Done. And we're going to move with the major talk. You know what I mean? We don't do no small talk over it's here. So we staying active. You know what I mean? Staying active and, you know, just keep going. And, keep going. And honestly, I have a lot on my plate. You know, I run a bar in New York, and I don't really have time, but I write every fucking night. Well, that's great to hear. And just because I get up there, and I'm just like, it's so euphoric. Yeah. And when you have options, you know, you can let yourself talk. It's not, it's, what I was saying earlier, it's not a coincidence, it's just, giving yourself time and the beat is actually your outlet to let you talk. Yeah, all the beats. So, yeah. And I'm at a different perspective with it and so <laughs> time to raise the bar. Well, up the bar on them, the new single, That's it. Karma, we're going to play this after the podcast, but you already know my brother come back, you know, Zen Rem, BKA, T.Remedy, RZX, Remedy, RZX Circus, Circus Wicked, Wicked Commission. Commission. Yo, you know I mean? and uh, it's a resurrection big shout studio. Out to my brother Just. Yep, all love. We gonna you carry know, his name. He would have been here. He would have been here. Uh, Definitely. But, yep. You know, these are the breaks, baby. Yep, we gonna do what it do. We gonna get right, do right, stay right, stay focused, stay positive. Cloud Lounge Rem Podcast. Peace, easy.
No face, a cold case to be Race with no pace, a heart with no beat Revenge serve cold, cause the pain ain't sweet Yeah, play cards right, you can fall ten flights Shit'll come light when you go against your hindsight Oh, this your girl, your best friend You should turn around, give her a taste of her own medicine It be the late night, let him in, I let her in I tune her up right, she leave with my letterman You try in front it, curve the twist of your stomach Push yourself to get crazy, knowing you're really shutting So at times in blue, do you? Times two, you stupid to let him fool you and boo you the gray you to do what it takes to transition ain't smooth the feeling it ain't cool it's you against you uh gimme give gimme give gimme give gimme give gimme give more one last time until you make my soul sore yeah. gimme 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 more one last time until you make my soul sore gimme 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 more one last time until you make my soul sore gimme 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 more you think yourself to death with your self respect. Keep on demanding yourself, you should grow a set. Mm. You bad about it, did it, ran through it. You look calm in the face, that bitch began schooling. Go ahead, tell yourself you don't wanna fight. You're only saying whatever to help you sleep at night. Yeah, and pressure buzz pipes. How can something so wrong always feel so right? Uh. 